New information about the Safe Moon Exchange. That is the topic of this video. It's going to be short and sweet and to the point. I've been stylizing my videos different recently. So if you guys haven't been here for a while, yep, change some things up. I got more videos up for today on other topics. You can check those out. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. Would love for you guys to be a part of the community. And you know, if you can hit the thumbs up like button, it helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Share the video if you think other people would find this to be helpful. And please keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. And as always, I encourage you guys to do your own research as well. There was a tweet that was posted. Valhalla Vice over on Twitter said to the CEO of SafeMoon, ballpark number of tokens that will be listed. <clears throat> and the response was, we are looking to list an initial 25 quality projects, but that number is subject to change. So 25 to start off with. We can theorize on which of these cryptos they will be, but we do know that there's going to be some for sure already. Obviously, number one is going to be Safe Moon. Number two is going to be the United States dollar Tether. The reason being for that is we've seen the previous statement that every crypto is going to have two pairings, one to Safe Moon and one to USDT. So USDT is a stable coin. It's still a cryptocurrency. Number three, I would say, is going to be BNB. BNB is heavily prevalent as it does do the backing for the liquidity pool for that of SafeMoon. And we've been recently seeing the new features added in in which you can send BNB, one of which was another video that I just posted earlier today. Um, so you guys can actually check out that video as well. Okay, so those are three right off the bat. Number four, Bitcoin. Should expect that. Number five, Ethereum. And then we're going to go down the list here. So we got also potentially on the table Cardano. Very high likelihood for that if I had to take a guess. XRP is still going through legal issues right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's not on the actual exchange when it launches unless they finalize everything with their, uh, their court case situation. Dogecoin, we know that they're big supporters of the Dogecoin community, so I would largely expect that to be on there as well. The USDC, they've already got the United States dollar tether, so whether or not they're going to have the USDC, I think is debatable, but probably not. Polkadot, I could see being on there. Solana is listed on the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Potentially seeing that. I think Uniswap is definitely on the table since we've seen the ability now you can actually trade for SafeMoon over on the Ethereum blockchain of which you can use Uniswap. There's also the BUSD. That's mainly over on Binance's side. And again, we already have the United States dollar tether. This is another stable coin. So probably not going to see the Binance USD. It just wouldn't make sense to me. Bitcoin Cash. Oh, geez. I mean... It's it's up there in the top list. We might still see it. We got Terra Luna, Chainlink. We got Litecoin, Wrapped Bitcoin. So that Bitcoin is essentially paired in conjunction with Ethereum side. Polygon Matic, Ethereum Classic, Stellar XLM, Internet Computer. That one blew up um, within the last couple months. It really came out of nowhere. V Chain, Theta Theta, Filecoin. Die Die, and I don't know about Tron, if that's going to be on there. Ave, I think that's how you say Ave or Av. I've never really officially learned how to say it. So I think EOS is definitely a good potential one on the table. I think Ave is on the table. Tron, probably not. Uh, Die is essentially a stable coin, so they might not include that one there. And then I think the rest of these have some pretty good opportunities. Uh, I'm not sure about Theta, Theta. But EOS is definitely something that would make sense. Also, if there is Wax, where is Wax? IOTA, I mean, they talk a lot about the Internet of Things. Maybe we'll see that over there. And uh, isn't there a cryptocurrency called Wax? I know that we were talking about that as far as for the bridging goes. But I'm trying to remember if they actually have their own. Yeah, Wax P. So if uh, they're going to be doing bridging over to EOS and also to WAX, I would assume they're probably going to have these two on the table. So that's my thoughts on this. You guys let me know if there's any that maybe I didn't cover that will likely be on that initial list. Again, they said that 25 is just a starting point and it's a subject to change. All right. So let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I did cover another Safe Moon video today. I also talked about AMC, the stock, if you guys want to check out those videos. And I... 
I think I might have another one or two Safe Moon related videos. I need to double check on the new information that's come out today. And yeah, guys, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Feel free to hit the thumbs up like button and feel free to share the video. Thank you so much. Check out the links in the description for free cryptocurrency and free stock. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.